Right, that's kind of loud. Hey there, everyone. We're back. Day two, Wastelanders. Let's do it. Little happened since we uh, last saw Boke. There we go. Um, I went and finished the Rosie deal, which only led me further down a rabbit hole. I did get the audio, wait, hollow cassette fixed, which was really simple. But anyway, uh, got it fixed. Now I've got to go find the word negotiate. Yeah. Having, uh, has to be an audio cassette of David seeing it. Anyway, so, as stupid as that is, and it seems like I've already came across that once before. But, uh, maybe, maybe not. But, since I'm thinking about it, excuse me, I think I will go into my hollow tapes. Ooh, uranium fever's going on. Well, in that case, hmm. Hollow tapes can wait. How long has this been happening? Nine minutes ago. Bummer. Oh yeah, and also the astronaut lives with me now. And I got another shot. Alright. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Wrong button. All right, and we're back with the live Rona special. Don't forget to call in and make your pledge. Oh, okay, whatever. I know where you are. Yoink. Weapons artisan is already on. Did 
Come on, game, don't lag out. Shoot. Not enough aluminum to fix either of them. Nothing can be done about that. The hell? The fuck? Legendary up here, dude. Oh. 
Detecting terminated management personnel. Remove this individual from the premises. Hit the ceiling. It bounced off that asshole. Anybody else see that shit? I was just me shooting at nothing, but whatever. My prerogative. Okay, now I just suck. Turn that screaming in my ear down a little. <clears throat> there we go. But I really don't do anything unless I go to game chat. Or on party chat. Okay, well that'll work for now. Oh, I'm dying of thirst. No.
get all this goopy. Cause that's where the money's at. Out of work. cleared that one. Oh yeah, my favorite.
All right, since he's here, might as well invite him into the party. Any day, machine. There you go. Getting a little better. Getting a little bit faster. Maybe, maybe. Come on. People don't like looking at white, blue, screen, whatever. <coughs> there we go. That's so freaking weird. Why'd it take me there? Hey, Mr. Locar, sir. I am streaming, just an FYI. And you're live. <laughs> what you been up to? Oh, not much. Checking out the new Wastelanders. I like it. Of course, I like I the old one, too, but... I do, too, but, uh, you know, I haven't been on the storyline in so long, so... It's a little bit slow for me. Right. It uh, definitely gives me the feel of the whole Sean Hu thing, dragging you every which way and then some. Also love that we got a little bit more room for our camps now. Yeah, I just... I was able to figure. put a roof on and that just made me happy as pig and shit. <laughs> Finally, a roof. A complete roof. It still rains through, but whatever. <laughs> I'll take that up with Bethesda tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'll just I throw you a couple of pots of pans, pans down and you'll be good. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. You've never had headaches like this before? Sorry, I'm talking to... Uh... No, what's her name? Major Nelson over here. <laughs> yeah, you got the reference. The astronaut. I have an astronaut living with me now. This isn't like the chick in the diaper down in San Antonio or whatnot. This is, uh... She crash landed. On my couch! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, I gotta figure out where I need to go next. Well, how far have you... Like, are you pursuing a specific story arc, or...? Uh... For Kang. Did that little part. Or Crane. Relay Tower. Yeah. Or Crane. I don't know who that is. You're going Raiders, uh, aren't you? I probably am. I'm not oh. sure. <laughs> I've been told that, you know, you got to a certain point, and then you can decide for sure which way you want to go. Yeah. Yeah, it is going to let you go for a ways, but, I mean, if it's anything like the previous Fallouts, that is. So oh my gosh, sure. I've never been so over encumbered in all my life. That's not true. <laughs> Where is... Oh, come on now. I'll bet that's it right there. It just says power armor chat. Oh, nope, there it is. I knew I had named it. <laughs> and now the whole world knows what a weirdo I am. And they ain't learned that by now? I know, right? Yeah, they <laughs> obviously not paying attention. My 12 subscribers, it's all good. Boom. Now, exit this one and get in that one. I'm trading out for my excavator because I just uh, did uranium fever and got super heavy. And I'm not in your server anymore, but I am about to jump back into it. I jump server so as to fast travel down to my... Down to the train station. That did not work. <laughs> 140... I'm still going to be over encumbered. What is... What did I do? What did I change?
Well, I just got a ton of guns on me, I guess. Well, you know there's an easy solution to that, too. Uh, scrap them or stop picking them up? Uh, that was exactly what I was thinking. I'm going to scrap down at least these, uh, whatchamacallits, Deathclaw, not Deathclaw, the wannabe Deathclaw gauntlets, Mole Miner gauntlets. Oh, yeah. I know they can get you some good money, but, I mean, not as good as the shotguns and stuff. Plus, bone. And who doesn't love bone? That's about the, almost as much as I love glass. Yeah, right. After that tooth extracted, that's how I'm feeling. Like, bone can kiss off. That shit hurts. <laughs> so did you finally get that sucker pulled? No. Oh, okay. Well, no, they're still, uh... Well, because of that whole BS with the blood sugar issue, which, oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. so yeah, they put me on that glucometer and everything's good. Talked to the doctor when I talked to the doctor last and she's like, yeah, I think you're okay. Um, but then everything with Rona, nobody's doing nothing right now, so. If it's not emergency, it's not happening. Which is honestly fine by me. Okay, when I jump servers, I should, unless they've changed it, have the exact weight I need. <coughs> yeah, so, so far I am following, uh, well, I, I mean, I did the rosy stuff, I'm not quite done with it. In fact, come to think of it, I have no idea if I'll ever be done with that, because Rosie, uh, those missions drag. But um, I got her card, got it, the data repaired, got her the new tape. She didn't have what she needed, blah, blah, blah. And that's where I'm at on that. And then as far as the other one, uh, found the dock, rescued the dock, went back and talked to... The guy with the girl's name. Well, what? Paige. It was Paige. Such a girl's name. But anyway, so I talked to Paige. <laughs> and uh, he was like, yeah, when Doc gets back, we'll take care of this. And then I don't know what the hell happened. Because then I, I, well, because the way the locations were, it was just perfect for me to go and finish up the Rosie missions. But I've got two, three, three shops now, open and operating and fully stocked, and that makes me very happy. Oh, uh, once you ain't put a fourth down yet? Um, no, I just now put down the other two. Ah, uh, okay. Well, poo. I guess they uh, fix the extractor's weight issue thing. Have you got a bow yet? Uh, no, and I was looking at those tar uh, perks the other day. I shouldn't have wasted so much in nuclear winter. Cause there I are already... perk cards for the bow? Yeah, yeah archer. Uh-uh. What's perception. that under? Perception. Damn, and I just took all those points out of perception. That's okay, I got other characters. So, I'm actually, as soon as I get eight more levels, I'm going to be melee and archer. <laughs> I like he. Geez, yeah, that's pretty impressive, actually. And yeah, stagger. And stagger, so you can knock somebody on their ass with a bow. 
And not to mention that uh, my son-in-law was telling me that you can actually strap dynamite to the arrow. I was going to say the... Um, I don't think we're done with... Because I, 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 uh, I built a bunch of little low-level ones and scrapped them down. Trying to see what I could get for it. And uh, got nothing, but... It was real easy to tell that it's like, nah, there's more going on here. Um, because there were slots that were like closed, but to be opened, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyhow, we, uh, we shall definitely see. I'm going to drop some of these shotguns so that I can travel. Goodness sakes. Say you running around out there? Mm, I'm at my place. That answers that then. I haven't checked. Is there plans for crossbows? Yes. Bows and crossbows. Uh, I found the plans for the bow in a store, and the plans for the crossbow can be found at the Pioneer Scout Lookout, or right next to it anyway. Uh, right there, pretty much. Up on the, let's see, what would it be, the northwest side of the camp? There is a, um, what you would call it, doohickey, of course. Um, it's the way the structure is, the, 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 not architecture, the geology. It's like a shelf. Anyway, it's like a big, 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 uh, granite slate that comes up out of the ground. And, uh, oh, okay. like, yeah, kind of like Vasquez rock almost, but not quite so sharp and it comes out and it rolls around on the side of the mountain and the, it's like you know starts off the foothill and becomes pretty tall but anyway if you run up there and there is a crevasse but there's a bridge and a bunch of other crap and yeah it's tucked in there's a shooting range way up oh, high above I know what you're talking about. uh huh that's where you find the plans for the crossbow and the water filter as it were um, but yeah, it's a pain in the ass to get to, kinda, just because it's so far out in more or less middle of nowhere. You want another one? Sure. That's not a potato, that's a hand grenade, you idiot. <laughs> This guy don't even know. Told you so. Nice. Did you know the excavator gives you a double uh, harvest when you're picking up minerals? Or. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I had to think there for a second. Yeah, I think it's pretty sweet. Did you build your little camp with the sign yet? Yeah, I did that. Is that where you end up meeting Cade or whatnot? Whatever you said his yeah, name was. Cade is that what? Uh, well, what uh, Cade is just uh, somebody looking for him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of got a little lost during some of that. The ghoul, the ghoul startled me once I realized that that guy dressed like Han Solo uh, looked like that. I was like, instant racism. It was pretty great. <laughs> I was live streaming it too. But I was like, I can't remember what it, what I said, but it was pretty jacked. But it was like, uh, I said, I hate ghouls 
for uh, no, I said I hate robots, ghouls and robots, and I'll tell you why. Two reasons: one, the robots took her jobs, and two, the ghouls look different than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Something like oh, that. It came off way better. No, no, not at all. <laughs> it's straight up discrimination. Why? Because he looks different than I do. Like, damn, son. Your service, man. You're either doing it wrong or you're doing it right. I guess that's just relative to your opinion. <laughs> pretty, pretty wrong. But yeah, I had fun with this, even though it crashed constantly. Did it? Yeah, it crashed three times on me while I was streaming this stuff. Third time I just like as a blue screen was like, all right, y'all have a good night. <laughs> I was wondering how bad it was gonna when it uh, first started playing it. Well, and I'm not totally sure, but I mean, and I haven't seen anything on the TV or anything about it. But then I don't really watch TV. But I'm pretty sure like the entire world has uh, been under DDS attacks of late. Because I know uh, Easter, it was impossible to get on anything for a while. And I don't think it was because everybody was at home using everything. Because everybody's been at home using everything. You know, it was like servers crashing and stuff. But, hey, what do I know? A lot. <laughs> So how's uh, Chewie been like in uh, Call of Duty? He seems to like it a lot. I ain't played with him very much on it though. Uh, Cause he, he told me, he says, I don't like that kind of games. <laughs> he don't like it? Yeah, that's what he told me, he says, I don't like them kind of games. But then I seen him playing it, playing it, and I was like, okay, I guess he likes it. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, we've been playing the heck out of that, uh, what you call it mode, uh, uh, Blunder, yeah, just leveling up every dang thing we can. And beyond that, yeah, not doing a whole lot, but we're having fun. Yeah, let's not do anything stupid there. Let's get out of my armor first. I hate to get rid of the wrong item. Hmm. Okay, so what am I missing? Oh, just done some bits. I'm gonna make several of them and then see if, uh, if we got any perks. I mean, not perks, but get some mods from it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. I was tripping out because I thought I heard that astronaut lady, and I'm like, what's she doing way over here? It's like, is the game that freaking buggy? Well, it's the guy's camp over my shoulder. And he's got the astronaut gal, too. So, yeah, it makes sense now, but for a moment, I was very confused. I will be right, right, right back. Sorry. Right, ready?
breakthroughs. Might as well take care of that while I didn't have an audience. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to get rid of so much crap here. And I'm not sure what I really can or should get rid of on some of this. I don't even know I want to transfer. freed up 20 pounds. Lokar, you run the bloody build? Mm. Uh, not really. I mean, the only thing, the closest thing to it is I'm just doing unyielding. Got gotcha. you. Damaged mainframe core. Fifteen of them. Man, I tell you, if I had the weight, I would. Because those things are actually easy to sell. They're just not light. At your service, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, well, she, my son-in-law told me about it, and it's like, oh, spoil it. Yeah, he's going to find out eventually. You get a new, another, there's another melee weapon you get. I said, can it beat my unstoppable monster? Probably not. He's actually, well, I don't need it then. <laughs> right? I don't know. You might find out it was the uh, next level weapon, you know? <sighs> Excuse me. All right, get rid of that. I don't need that. Which I then told I about the that. I'm just I'm curious. curious. I guess I need to look on At game and just see. Uh, in real, real life, what could I sell this unstoppable monster for? That's fair. Because he was telling me, he said, since you can't get it anymore, he said, you can probably sell it for a decent price. That's true. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got a handful of legendary pieces that uh, came from Survive, Survivor. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I imagine, like, Last Action Hero, that's probably worth something. And the Quick Fix... Probably not worth a whole lot since it's just a switchblade, but I tell you what, dude, I'd pay a dollar for one because I love <laughs> that thing. I actually ran out of bullets. Every gun I had was either broke or empty, and that was the only other thing in my inventory. And I broke it out in the middle of a ghoul horde and survived because <laughs> that thing swings so fast. It's switchblade with a plus 40%. 
and uh, yeah, it, it swings so fast, especially when you perk out your your speed. It kept them at bay. They don't even get close enough to you to hurt you. It's pretty awesome. Well, I would think that somebody would probably would like that. I like it, and I don't even run junky. I don't remember all of what it is, but it's junkies and it's a 40% faster swing. But the last action hero, that's the one, man. That's the one right there. I don't even remember all of what it does other than kicks ass. I think it's a, it's a two shot with a faster fire rate and a 15% faster reload or something. Uh, I'll, be I'll be back. back. Yeah, yeah. First you boil the water. Now that the water has been boiled, you may make food. Big money. Big, big money. This is going to be so huge, especially with Super Duper on. It's almost too much. I'm going to bankrupt the robot. Alright. Hey, hey. So I went to the kitchen here to uh, do my womanly work. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. Anyway, uh, yeah, I went into the kitchen and started prepping up what I had here. And holy crap, man. I have um, I had 49 of the glowing meats because the last thing I did last night was run uh, back to back. I ran Sons of Anna or Sons of Dane and uh, then ran the Uranium Fever. So I got a whole bunch of meat out of that, and then like, yeah, poof. Artisan's Corner is a place for creative hands-on learning. See how and much it totaled out to, super duper running. Popular program yet. Of course, I had like 10 pieces already cooked or something, but... I'm passing it up. Oh yeah, 61. That's... Awesome. 610 Damn. caps. About broke the freaking bender right off the start. <laughs> Good thing I wasn't using any uh, great mintats, huh? Yeah. And do you have bargainer up also? Oh yeah, yeah. I keep that running. Materials 
I, I thought I had it. I guess I must have deleted that app or game flip. Need any water? Ah, uh, probably good at the moment. Artisan's Corner is a place for creative hands-on learning. And the wilderness but if you got uh, beer in real life, I'll take it. <laughs> it's in the, it's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to have to open an envelope that's uh, leaking. Right. That's a shame, too, because they are bottles. <laughs> Artisan's Corner has everything you need to make your next survival project a success. I don't know what wine or vodka are used for hardly to speak of at all. Let's just get rid of those. Oof. Syrup Prepare is worth three caps. I did not realize that. That's pretty good. I love selling them food right as it's about to go bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bender does not have enough caps. Dang it. You know, that's something they just need to go ahead and just do away with. The but cap they, limit? You know, you, well. Yeah, they no, do. Keep the, keep the cap limit, but as far as Bender goes, let it sell all you want to. I mean, cause you are, you're capped 30k, so. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that, that part, that's what I mean, like, the vendor's cap limit. Oh, okay, If you yeah. grind hard enough to freaking cash out all day long, you should be able to cash out all day long. Because yeah. as is, it gets to the point where it's practically a pick and choose. Because if you're really playing hard, I mean, they're, they're, before they had the legendary vendor, and even since then, there are times when... I had to, you know, I have to switch characters now, um, but it, because there's nothing left I can do. It's that or start dropping guns, you know. Of course, of course, I do know why, that, I understand why they do some of that sometimes, you know, people sell caps on games with it. Do they? Mm-hmm. You can find all kinds of things, weapons, everything. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I had that very idea before it was even a thing, and somebody was like, "Yeah, we're not there yet." I should have ignored him and gone with my gut. It would have been an investment worth making. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap! I don't want to go through all this. Unfortunately, gg.com was a very expensive website that uh, is still owned by somebody in China, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I didn't buy it. I had a few other ideas, but... Uh, Damn, I forgot my password and all that stuff, so I guess, uh, I'm not even going to worry about it. All right, so there's that, there's that, and let's eat. Boom. Okay. I wonder what where I can buy blueprints that I don't have. Try to put back in the pool. Come in, come in. Welcome to Elegance. Uh, there's still several of them I don't have. But I've almost got enough ready. to buy a freaking serum. What, plans for it? Yeah. Yeah, if I were to put it all over on Junior, he'd have more than enough.
Oh man. I was looking at some of the prices on uh Oh, that one's on Xbox, so, but uh, no, it doesn't matter. But yeah, stop a monster. I figured it'd, come, it'd bring a little bit more, but apparently it don't. New patient detected. Well, that's kind of a shame. Woo! We had I just found a whole bunch of soda here in the uh, oops, in the pharmacy. That was a surprise. Damn. There's a three star quad the fixer. That's going for hundred and twenty five dollars. Is it just a quad? Take a look real quick. Like if that's all it is, is just a quad fixer. That's like dang. Well uh, that's you know, it's quad the fixer, but it's a three star. It can't give me too much info about it. That's a shame. I'd want to know everything before I'd spend a nickel on it, let alone. I'm just saying, that's a pricey piece of toy right there they want. How do I get upstairs? Did I go the wrong way? Okay. Bubbles puts me out there. That goes to the front. Try not to track blood on the and ground. I want to go this way and up. There it is. Okay, now I know where I'm at again. Jeez, this place is so, like, spatially out of proportion. <laughs> the inside of the White Springs. The what? The inside of the White Springs. Oh. What I love is the inside access to the uh, to Modus. That makes absolutely zero spatial reasoning. Because once you come into the underground bunker, you are like at least one story below the entrance of the bunker which is underground and you go from the third floor of the White Springs through a door and are immediately one floor underground which is actually accurately more like 30 feet underground and I'm like yeah I don't think I just crossed a 90 foot gap <laughs> it just doesn't it just doesn't fly with me. I hate to be a stickler about something so trivial, but it's just kind of like, I mean, come on, man. There's somebody selling a anti-armor Gatlin uh, plasma gun and uh, only a two-star. They're selling it for seventy-five bucks. So damn. Eesh. You mean I've been throwing away real money all this time? Yeah. That's what it sounds like. I see my daughter, she started that, uh... No, she, there's a lot process to it, to, you know, buy and sell. No, well, not yeah. buy and sell, it's a sale, but... Uh, basically, you know, you gotta fill out the application, basically, and then... You have to send... A picture... Of you holding your photo ID to prove that it's you. Wow. And, and then you can start your process. Well, yeah, they got to make sure that you're not screwing people over. I but, mean, it's too easy to do. Dude, that's what uh, I was going to start, you know, because the vending machines, I mean, I was making hand over fist caps all the damn time. So she was going to sell some of the caps. I just, I just give it to her. She sells it in real life. But she got gotcha. into she got into more streaming and stuff like that. So she's kind of a little busy doing that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I am officially learned 
in all the recipes of the pharmacy that can be bought in the bunker. I'm I should be able sure to make everything wrong. now. Now I wish I had the old man's list on me, because I don't. But he's got all the all the serum formulas. I'm actually going to take a look. I haven't been in there in a while. I've got... Man, I've got over a third of them for sure. I mean, I got scaly, I've got marsupial... I think I've got bird bones, I've got unstable isotope, I've got, oh, I got a bunch of stuff. But unfortunately, I kind of got behind on it. One of uh, the old crew I used to run with on here, a uh, new guy came in, he was like, yeah, man, I'll get you all those, da da da, da. I buy them cheap, and this, that, the other, I'm a trader, ma 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 and, yeah, I never saw one. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, it did cost me, like, I don't know, 40,000 caps to not get any of them. But it was a team effort, you know, I mean, he was helping out my boys, so... It's all gravy. Yeah. <laughs> I still like that. But, uh, y'all, I get my daughter some caps because y'all, and she don't farm that much, don't do that that much. She just likes to do other things. But, uh, yeah. I'm sitting there. You don't give her, you know, 10,000 here, 10,000 there. And she's like, uh, her, her hubby was like, hey, well, you can uh, give me uh so I said, get your own damn caps. And I'm like, okay. I said, I said, I gave you those. You can't share. She goes, no. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Boom. X01 calibrated shocks. Yes. I so don't want to spend that money, but I'm doing it. Boom, and guess what? <laughs> the vendor is completely restocked on his caps. I'm trying to see, I bought a bunch of them. Uh, that's the one plan that me and the guys have never been able to get our hands on. I and think that's there that it was. We, you had to jump servers multiple times before you come across it. Well, I just found it, and I am super happy. Now, if I can just find it. There it is. Calibrated shocks. Learned. All right, that makes me happy. So I'm gonna go check out the medical. I can remember where the hell it is. It's kind of funny. The uh, the old man doesn't even have the X01, but he's the builder. This character can build an X01, but I don't think has one. <laughs> It's kind of crazy, and my my newest character, she's got all the super rare, weird plans that are, like, impossible to come by. She finds them all, constantly, and I'm like, didn't even think about it when I was playing. Like, dude, piggyback these up the line. No, no, I'm, I let her learn them all, like a dumbass. 
she, she can't never even use but yeah too late now <coughs> Now I will say the backpack, yeah, she was going to learn that anyway. Like if another character had found it, I would have sent it to her anyhow, because she's only got the three for strength. Weakest character of the lot, which is not a problem, she's a sniper. Uh, but it's nice to be able to carry a little bit more. Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny that she's my fifth, and it had to be that way too, because I tell you, if I had done it in a different order, I wouldn't have been able to, uh, I wouldn't have been skilled enough to manage my weight, you know? We got an inbound nuke. Uh, I'm at a lot of screen, so I can't see. We're going for the Scorch Beast Queen, it would seem. Uh, undebatable. Well, I know, that's what I'm thinking. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you I think I'll wait and see how many people show up down there and what their levels look like before I go waste my ammo. Well, I'll be... I won't waste no ammo, but... I can't use my unstoppable monster with it. I gotta use the regular fire axe. Why can't you use it? It won't allow you. That's the only drawback. It won't allow you fight the queen with it? Nope. nope. Why not? Because, uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's one handed. It's not a, it's a fist weapon. Oh, cause power armor? Yeah. Oh, well, hell, I got a radiation suit I can lend you. <laughs> I need to look see what I got in there in my box. I haven't looked in a while. And I don't uh, want to take Brad Ash because that's gonna Yeah, yeah. That's gonna mess up my jump. Yeah. And every damn thing else, yeah. Alright. I am pulling these out of my ears just oops. Good way to set off them robots. All right, I'll be right, right back. I'm still here though. All right. That's better. I feel like I should have used this time to get to get into a better position to view the touchdown. But eh. so far, I've only seen five people heading that direction. Lowest one being sixty. There are other people, but I don't know if they joined it. 240. I mean, as long as they're over level 50 and got their shit pack, uh, geared out and stuff, I mean, it's no different. Impact. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple high level 200s. I think I'll jump to the glass caverns. Wait, wait, wait. Here you go. Here you go. Let's put on a suit first. I'm gonna go grab me a couple of hazmat suits. <laughs> Got you thinking, huh? Uh, I haven't done it in a while, so let's, why not? Yeah, fair enough. Tell you what, 
I'm on now that I realize we're on a team. I'm gonna take Lone Wanderer off. Duh. Oh, uh, Glass Cavern, was you going what for titanium and stuff? Uh, lead, aluminum, and steel, because I'm bullet forging of oh, late. Okay. Or at least that's what I'm pretending to be doing. Uh oh. Those two really high levels disappeared. Unless they're ducked that. down. They're probably ducked down. Alright, jump into it. Hopefully we can merc this hoe! Cause I have no interest in throwing bullets at her for no reason. In fact, when I say that, I'm kind of like thinking, I just want to stand back and let them merc her. <laughs> yeah, come in at the last moment. Mm-hmm. Just a bit. Well, I can't, I can't tell you. If they can't get her down quick, in the very beginning, then no, I am not gonna push it. <sighs> yeah, cause I really don't wanna use a fire axe, that thing's slow. Packs a bunch, but it's slow. Oh, shit. I forgot about the stupid super human being here. Where are you at? I don't see Face, face. Right over his head. Okay, now I'll jump over there. I say I'm gonna jump over there. He's come in here and land. to the side yeah it's being done I've acquired its attention again. Oh, 
Okay, if we ain't gotta worry about radiation, I'll just take this damn suit off. damn suit off. Be right back. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go get some ammo. Just talking to one of the gals who runs, well, not runs, but works at the gun shop across from where I work. Often, you know, have lunch and stuff, so it's a little bit yeah. of a rapport. But anyway, uh, I was talking to her the other day. She came in yesterday, I think it was, but anyhow. Um, I asked her how business has been with them, all things being. <laughs> and I figured it'd probably either be, you know, dead or they'd be selling, but, uh, uh, what she told me was surprising, and that was that they're selling, but ammo. Oh my, like, really? And they're like, well, it doesn't mean it's like, well, yeah, everybody's already got a gun here. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah, their ammo is, uh, they're having trouble keeping it on the shelves. And I'm like, huh, good to know. I am definitely a proponent of the uh, theorem that uh, 
an armed society is a polite society. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did you say unarmed or armed? Unarmed, yeah. Armed, a armed society okay. is a polite society. And it might not be at first, but it fixes itself in time. looks different than everybody else's now. I can tell, like, right away, you in the group as my teammate. That's actually really handy. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Have I they killed her yet? Yeah. She down. They... Oh, for real? She's dead? Yep. yep. Fuck. And I just got back, too. I wonder if I get anything for her. Nope. She's bare. Damn it! What do I get for going to get ammo? Boo! 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 Not you, dude. You scorched these queen. <laughs> I got. I was managed to get us uh, one last swipe in. Let's take a look. See what I got. <laughs> well, if I carried weapons, I uh, would probably have ammo. All right. Bah. Have you gotten the negotiate thing from for Rosie? Don't think I have, because I don't remember that. Okay. I'm going to head over there right now and try to find it. It's at the, uh, well, at least where it's telling me to look first is over at the, um, Arctos. So I'm jumping to your camp first. And then I figure I'll go do that optional talk to Mort, even though, ugh. He's like, looking at, looking at Mort to talk to Mort is like eating bad yogurt. And was yogurt <laughs> ever really good to begin with? 
I never liked it. Uh huh. Hey, you never know. Bad yogurt might be good cottage cheese. <laughs> I know, right? Gross. Yeah, I, mean, I tried cottage cheese once, and I was like, Ugh. A lot of people don't like it. I personally love it, but I'm a weirdo. I admit this. It's really, really good in stir fry. Well, yeah, that's because you got other stuff mixed in with it. Mm -hmm. But if I had to eat straight, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's 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 a uh, it's a component, not a meal. That's for sure. Nah, people eat that cottage cheese and peaches and crap. Ugh. That's my mama right there. Yep. And if you need any of the plants and shit, take them. I can't eat them. I got carnivore. Nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. I'm rocking the soups right now. Got plenty. Where? I was coming in here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I wish I could take some of these, uh, weapons and gears into nuclear winter. Hmm. That's a poison, uh, poisoner's rate of, you know, right legs, you know, 75% chance to reduce damage from, by 8%. Mm hmm players and crap like that yeah I haven't really played nuclear winter to see if they've added or changed or fixed anything not that there was a whole lot of fixing needing to be done but you know what I mean uh, I think I checked it out the other day for about one match and I was like yeah, I'm done <laughs> you shoot my cats Oh. No. That's right, you got cats. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> they should, they be, should around be around here somewhere. Oh, no, somebody might have killed them because they're, they're not showing up. It honestly wasn't me. It could have been the, uh, it could have been the Wastelanders, you know, all these new people. They might have moved in and started chonking on them. I mean, you know, it really boils down to this, and you know that's how it goes. You've got two groups. You have to pick a side. So it's going to come down to raiders or cannibals. That's what I say. I heard a cat, but never mind. That's your cat. for a moment there but yeah uh raiders are cannibals man that's how it always works in this universe of fallout and the better they look the more cannibal they are <clears throat> uh, let's see what am i gonna do Knowing you, probably go eat some iguana on a stick, you sicko. <laughs> I just said, uh, figured out. Yeah, you know, I just kind of started playing this, but uh, I haven't figured out if I'm gonna go with Nuclear Winter or Call of Duty or play this. I'm gonna give this. A mission or two more, and then I'm probably am gonna go over to Call of Duty. But I am having fun with this, and I am streaming. And so far, I've had zero views. So, but thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. Well, I can't watch because I'm playing. Deadly Bojangles. Or is it Deadly Bojangles? I think he's a le I think Bojangles is a lesbian. <laughs> now, the way it was spelled, L-E-Z. It was Bojangles. But it was, you know, 
it just stood out like maybe the L was capital I think it was I don't know somebody was trying to make draw attention to themselves and they did a very So is that All a, right. Uh, Oof. God, man, you're so ugly. What? Is, did your nose just fall off? That happened to Michael Jackson once, you know? Went right <laughs> in his soup. It's funny. That is so funny. He smiled when I said it, just like he, like I said it to him. Last <laughs> year, Vault Tech actually took care of some of their. That's people. great. You hear these hey, viewer. Right about him, just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Hey, I'll well, take some rations and a fancy suit. Face of yours. You are in good company now. Uh. Around here, we look after one another. <laughs> okay. Now, what can I do for you? Put it back over your head, please. That's all. Just cover it up, bro. A mask. That Michael Myers mask would be an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hating on this guy. Uh, hey, are you, you picking on the handicap? handicap? No, I'm picking on ugly. <laughs> you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament but if i'm gonna help you i want something in return why is he gonna teach me how to use my camp i already know this you want someone dead just give me a name all right listen I yeah I did an option yeah you're gonna help me get rich see the folks who made it big off the gold rush they weren't the prospectors they were the folks that sold them their shovels now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places, you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my uh, eyes. Let me turn, turn on my lights. It's not dark too long. I made these hollow tapes. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp you, you, you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. Huh. I am surprised my daughter and son are like playing. But then again, they were probably playing a lot earlier than what we are. I mean, California time. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, Sorry, I could else you wanted to hear about? over that. So oh, I just rambling on. You I just wanna want just wanna run I figured my daughter and son in law would be on, but they're not even on. So I'm an independent operator. When these folks need a hand or got an errand that involves running into radiation, they come to me. Brads, yeah, they don't bother me anymore. In exchange, Dutch just lets me drink. It doesn't bother me too much about my tag. Really, about the best sort of setup a guy in my situation could ever ask for. Well, at least until the tapes take off. Yeah, dude, you should definitely spend more time drinking. Works for me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> he's like, he's like, I can suck up all the radiation I want, and anytime they need somebody to go into a red zone, they send me, which is pretty cool, and I get free drinks, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, drink up, dude. Please, by all means. Some other time then. Hey. Friend over there, fuck ugly, dude. You should like, you know. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm like, I, I, I love hating robots. Just about in any game whatsoever, unless it's Star Wars. Fuck the droids, you know. Because they took her jibs. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if they haven't, they will. <laughs> um, and ghouls. And ghouls. Because they, like, you know, shouldn't still be around. They're, they're the freaking skin walkers from uh, the last man on earth type shit, you know? Just because he's still got his mind and ain't in flesh, don't mean he ain't a zombie.
That's what my son-in-law said, you know. If he gets the point that I turn it into a zombie to shoot me. I said, hell no, I'm going to change your ass up and use you as a weapon. Oh, right, right. Defense. Yeah. <laughs> zombie on a <his> stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed to keep him six foot away. Or better. It's actually been turned into a little motel room. Alright, this guy gave me some holotapes. I guess I should, I don't know, throw them away. <laughs> I haven't, I didn't even take none. You're like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I ain't got time for that. Line. I thought his name was Mort. Lewisburg, a small town of big dreams, but just underneath that shining veneer lies an undercurrent. Yeah, if you're in, you're oh, hey, here we go. Take one, Calvin Van Lowe. Just your average guy who. What the hell, Klein? Are you recording again? Is that a problem for you, Sydney? So, are you still, you think about getting a firearm? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But I'm uh, playing the tape. Can we just head over to the Van Lowe place now? We need to interview the sister about his last known whereabouts. Family. The bonds that tie us, the roots that hold us, but also the key ingredient in fratricide. Bum bum bum. Let's get this. Hey, check out that guy in the fancy suit. You ever see him around here before? Nope. Looks like he's snooping around now. Isn't that the Garber Summer Home? The one with the flamingo out front. They left town weeks ago. Hey, we should check this out. Let's go. Yes. Let's put our nose where it doesn't belong. What's the worst thing that could happen? Hmm. Uh, that was not the tape, and yet it was a mission-based tape that I've never heard before. All right, stay close. Uh, maybe I should up pick up some of them tapes, too. A fancy suit. Yeah, I'm playing part two for now. Murder. Motive for murder. You cannot see dun, dun, dun. Oh, but I am. Does it matter? Look, he's just making repairs on that grill. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Ooh, you're dead. That was actually very weird. Very weird. Freaking deranged. So, that is your new best friend? Hello? <laughs> 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 yeah, head <it's> still grow. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm actually listening to these. General defensibility and proximity to your surroundings. And it is not gonna let me you bet your chops it could. do anything for it, I'm sure. It's time to move on to the best part of working with your cat. Construction! Construction! Construction can be an intricate process. So a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> Details. Damn, I had to get that one wrong. And eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. You know those little uh, laminate photos that like for birds and plants oh, and stuff like that? Got I all the kid. all the stuff. I could. Oh, okay. Hold on. So long. That's it. Uh, Come on. What's that? Yeah, I couldn't hear you over the cassette, and couldn't hear the cassette over you. What's up now? Uh, the other day, I mean, you you know this little laminated thing that's got all the pictures of the birds and you know plants and stuff like that. Uh, it's a little fold-out thing. It's got all the pictures of the birds, plants, and stuff like that. Something to that fact. Uh, real life or in game? Uh, real life. Okay, yeah, the the tree of life, basically. Well, it's just a uh, like how everything branches to to its organism route and whatnot. Well, uh, no, I'm talking about like say, the you know, <coughs> uh, bird guide, and it's got pictures of all the bird, all different kinds of birds and stuff like that. It's a laminated, fold up little thing. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, well yeah. I was in this, like was a pocket guide. guide. Yeah, a pocket guide. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't think of the word, but you're good. I was actually at Brookshire's the other day, and I had to buy it because I didn't think anybody would believe me. It was a guide for cannabis. And really? It had, every, it had every single plant on there. Wow, that's kind of interesting. It, pictures and tells you about it and the level and stuff, and they're like. That's wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that actually could be... That could be interesting. I'm just saying. I don't know, but, like, I mean... Uh... And I'm not saying anybody does or anything. Okay, but, like, these shops and stuff... Um... You know, who... who who goes in and makes sure that they're selling what they claim to be selling? True. Okay. Right? I mean, because, like, misrepresentation of a product's a crime. Now, I'm not saying that they've got somebody that goes in specifically to make sure nobody's doing that, but, I mean, you know, like secret shoppers and stuff, right? I mean, they go in and well, weigh the burrito at Taco Bell just to make sure it's got all the beans, rice, and cheese it's supposed to, and that's stupid. Well, I, you know, I bought that because I didn't think anybody would believe me if I told them. Yeah, right. But when I when I bought that, some of the guys at work, they started naming off a bunch of names. I'm like, whoa, fuck, I never heard of that shit before. Right. How you know so <laughs> much, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, you know, my son, and my son included, he, him and several guys, yeah, they were looking up the names of this, this, and they were spouting out all different names. I'm like, I had no idea what the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> all I right, said, I used to, all y'all motherfuckers getting drug tested on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, believe it or not, I used to work for a company, and they did do that because they had a new insurance company. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Well, 95 percent of them. Yeah. No, not ninety-five percent of them didn't show up for the next day or two. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I know how that goes. I I worked there. They only need three days to clean up, but uh, they need those three days bad. Yeah, they were talking about stuff like you know, there's one of them that's called White Rhino and various other names, and I'm like, I mean, there's like literally. Yeah, I've never heard had, that. Had, it had to be at least. It was a back to back, but. 50 plants. Wow. Well, that's cool. 
me, of course, my, so I got in it, uh, we got in it this morning, and, uh, um, my son looked down and all he seen was a pot leaf on that damn thing. It's early in the day, six o'clock in the damn morning. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> right. I said, I said, you gotta see it. You won't believe it. And he looked at that and said, holy shit. <laughs> what do I have over here? Do I have binoculars? If not, I do have my camera. Camera it is. Zoom. L1. Oh, dude, that's somebody's house. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm impressed. I thought that was something to update because it's just so massive. Is it's it, a dude's it's house. Two camp. Um. Yeah, it must be. You got anything good in the shop, does it look like? Six weapons, uh, some ammo, a few plants, meds, food. I got meds and food, so. No offense, Stu. You just don't have what I need. Whoops. Just ruin that roll of film. You know, that's one thing I wish that they would do. You know, I, I watched several videos of that rust. At least when they got a shop, somebody sets up a shop, it tells you exactly what they got in there and how much for. Oh, yeah. I mean, because I've jumped to many places that, and they'd have 10 chef hats and ber uh, berets and crap like that. I'm like, how the hell is this armor? Right, right. Yeah, I wish the, uh, I wish some of the hats and stuff that you came across did, did count as armor. Uh, like, you know, like the helmets and stuff. Yeah. I mean, why, why pick up a helmet if it's not going to count as armor? And why the hell would, uh, armor helmet not be armor? I mean, when somebody can explain that to me. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Like I said, you... You know, Where did that shot come from? Not me. Yeah, some shot at me, but I don't know where it came from, and then disappeared. Might have been from the floor below. Yeah, cause I got a Saltron helmet on, but it counts as zero. Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of think that's a little lame, because, I mean, anything on your head should be better than nothing on your head. The first guy to, I mean, the guy who's pretty much credited for inventing the helmet put a freaking cast iron pot on his head, hoping <laughs> it would save his brains from a bullet, and it did, right? Like... Everybody clowned old boy too. They, they like made fun of him, you know. You're an idiot, kind of thing. And I mean, come on, you know, it is kind of a bit nonsensical if you think about it. But it worked. And then by that point that he did it, uh, that he actually caught the bullet, he had already had an influence on his men, you know, his other fellow soldiers that they were kind of starting to do the same thing too. Um, and several people had been hit before he got hit and had survived because they were wearing pots like he did. He was one of the, you know, it, it took him a few times before he got shot. <clears throat> okay, listening for the word, negotiate. Well, 
it wasn't on that tape. But David does not like pickles. <laughs> okay. That's what I learned. Oh, what? Where's that plant? Nope. Swore I saw plans there, which is weird because I just picked everything off that table. Hmm. All right, this would so almost sound good. I'm looking at Facebook. Facebook. She says, if you love Sorry, I can't hear you. I got yeah, another tape plan. These terms are perfectly reasonable. Since when are environmental laws and fair wages ridiculous and absurd? Since they take away 30% of the profits, we're set to gain, Lawrence. You can talk to me about fair wages when you give up your bonus. Come on, David. We need to wrap up this deal. Our partners are getting impatient. There has to be room for negotiation here. I'll be the one who says when it's time to negotiate here. Our partners Boom. are only impatient because they need this deal more than us. We just hope we don't realize it. Now go back to your desks. Was that you? Out how to give me that 80%. Oh, yeah, I'll I felt it off of here. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was in my game or in your background. Alright, so I found the word negotiate, I think. Yep, it's not showing me the other pings here, so I must have got it. Cool beans. Holy shit. Oh, okay. That's... Three tapes right there. Investigation, was he? Interesting. Come on, get off the tree. All right, Rose, where are you at? Oh, Project Paradise just fired up, didn't it? Six Never minutes liked ago. I have not been able to get anybody in there to do it right with because everybody seems to be more interested in um, screwing around and killing everything. Well, you got to kill everything to feed the, the trough, but if you're if people are <coughs> not in sync, it's yeah. not going to work. Yeah. And it need to have a full team and possibly two teams. Two teams, can. yeah. You know, there. You know, I think there's still A, B, and C blocks. Mm-hmm. It really is set up for that. It's set up for a set of teams to coordinate. You know. I'm team, we'll be team A, team B, team C, go. Y you know what to do. <coughs> but I almost see. lit this guy. Uh. campus was quite <laughs>
Ah, what a magnificent place this once was. The very epicenter of learning here in Appalachia. Truly, nothing is as valuable as a good education. Well, how's the fam been doing? They're doing all right. School's, I mean, school's still out for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, they, they, yeah, that's nothing I want to talk about while I'm streaming. Uh, in fact, I don't really want to talk about them at all while I'm streaming because it would come back on me. But all is well. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, there are people who don't like being discussed, and I totally understand that. Oh, I know, Bob. Yeah. But, yeah, everyone's well. <coughs> so, what kind of firearm do you think about getting? I want to get a Walter. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'd like, I mean, honestly, I'd like something that said freaking Ma Bell on the side of it. You know, AT&T. Reach out. Yeah. Reach out and touch <laughs> someone. But uh, what? considering what where I live, that's really not even a viable effort. You it know what I mean? Will. Some of your Walter guys are pretty pretty good. Machines, they are scientific and technological precision. They've been around for a while. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're talking about watchmakers. Must embrace the history, art, music, literature, and philosophy. You know what I'm saying? Why? Like, Our yeah. Must be nothing short of reclaiming well, that, which makes they understood similar. the necessity of precision long so before the, the firearm was what the firearm is. And, uh... Everything and the firearm, well, yeah, and, and that's just it. A firearm doesn't need to be as precise as a watch does, but it's good if it is. And if it is, hoo hoo hoo, baby. You know, I mean, there's a reason Walter. you use graphite. So Walter for two K, those are pretty good. See, my friend, mm. he's a spit the western yeah. guy. But, hey, James Bond of you, but yes, but uh. You know, even he, he got the the ah, MMP shield, the the 2.0 version. To find I like the gun. I really did. Yeah. I mean, accurate as hell. Good grip. Everything. Recoil was very little. Yeah. But his gun jammed a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. And he was so big on Smith & Wesson, and here I've shot the CZ-75 over a thousand rounds, never jammed. And it doesn't matter what shell I put in there, brass, aluminum, steel. Oh my gosh, it's giving me the option to, sorry, strength plus eight. I can answer, I need supplies, and you're going to give them to me because I will hit a man with glasses. <laughs> I'm just like, damn. I smacked him around a couple times. Nah, 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 nah. Up north, Connecticut, a small town called Monroe, named for the fifth president of the United States. Ernie? It was quite Ernie lovely, Monroe? Especially in the autumn. My wife and I used to ride the bicycle trails on Sundays and then visit the local brewery for a pint. Ah, there you go. I do miss those days. And I miss my Millie. Ah, I say your deadly bow jangles. Uh, you see it, right? It I see stands it. out. I see it. Okay, I thought yep. so. I thought so. I only saw it at a glance, but I was like, just the last three really caught my eye as stand out ish. And I'm like, that was on purpose, right? I will almost think that's a. a Short version of being a smart ass and lesbian. That was my guess when I saw it, but I didn't want to make assumptions. Yeah. Millicent Mi Alright. This is this guy's wife's name. His his, not his widow, he's still alive. But in time. Once I've learned to adapt to living in the... Oh, if you need some, uh... After the bombs, I think I, I got plenty. Some lead and steel. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I done balked, a, balked a bunch of shit the other day. I've always right on. Home in such places. And so, <laughs> guys, gamer, yeah, I saw it right as I closed the window. <laughs> Slave FM. <laughs> Shout okay. out to Slave FM. <laughs> Some of these names, they crack me up. Yeah. It sounds like a good radio station. Honestly. I mean, like like metal or something. And you're listening to The Slave. <laughs> I don't know. Back in, <laughs> back in the early 80s, uh, they had a radio station that was called Z-Rock. Uh -huh. Metal station. It went on for a long time, and finally it went to, it went off the air. History None of the supporters were like, damn, it was a damn good station, too. Yeah. To That's e where your uh, satellite radio comes in, man. That stuff. Uh, uh, of course, I do love my Spotify. I will shout out to that. Because um, Spotify's the shit. Uh should, now, shouldn't you be able to get some uh, something from Spotify? Since you, bought, you just sponsored it? Or just no, they'd have to sponsor me. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. We all heard about the rumors and controversies. But, but uh, I mean, I do like it. I haven't that got that much... It back into music that much anymore. Oh, man. I, I'm not even a music guy. That's the funny thing. And I've got over 700 tracks on there now, I think. Or last I looked, it was pushing 700. And I'm sure I've added to it since then. I'm probably like 727... 715 somewhere <clears throat> maybe more I doubt less I mean I just freaking grab everything that catches my ear Very well. all right so as well, far as lead goes I got like 15 bulks and uh, steel I got like Ooh. 21 yeah I'll, 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 I'll. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll definitely take that weight off your your hands I really wanted to beat that guy up and steal his stuff, but not really so much. Enter as team leader. Autobots, this way. Dan, you make me want to go watch a movie now. Good thing I didn't say roll out, huh? You like going? <laughs> All of a sudden, I hear low car. <laughs> And drives out of his, drives out of his house, right yeah, through the my wall. Son, <laughs> my, my son, when he's little, it, I tell him I grew up when the Auto uh, Transformers first came out. Yeah. I said, and then I, I was telling him about that. And, and, but he was young then, and then uh, I found the old Transformer movie. My gosh, he must have watched that thing about 40, 50 freaking times. Right. And that's the old cartoon movie. Yeah. Not the, and you're over there like, I can't watch Optimus die again. I just oh, can't. Yeah. I can't do it. You're killing me, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was there. I saw it. Of course, that's, you know, I picked up. Oh, <laughs> Here's a funny thing. The other day, uh, you know, my soon to be sooner or later future daughter in law, she works at daycare. And, you know, she's telling me that, you know, with Caden and he's got his little buddy there. And, uh, you know, they they have to keep them from, you know, you know, getting any guns and going pow, 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 or right, right, pew, 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 or anything like that. That kind of crap. The fun and, stuff. Uh, yeah, I get you. But they, they also, you know, they'll grab a little dinosaur and pow, pow, pow. <laughs> I said, right. they're boys. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just how it is, man. And I told her, I said, I said, you can go ahead and tell that daycare. I said, to shove it because they're going to have a hell of a damn battle. I said, because my grandson's not going to be a soy boy. He's going to be shooting. 
I mean, he's three years old, and he, I mean, I don't give him any loaded guns whatsoever, but he knows guns. Yeah, yeah. He knows that Papa's got guns in the room. I fixed to buy him a BB gun here probably the next <laughs> two weeks. See if right we can on. handle it. Yeah, that'll no doubt uh, make his make his week and some. <clears throat> First time he plinks a soda can, it's it'll be on and popping. Oh yeah. I mean, because the first time, uh, you know, I got this little, got it from NRA, and uh, it's a barbecue lighter, and it looks like an AR-15. Nice. He got all kinds of toys in there to play with. That's the first thing he goes for when he gets here. <laughs> Burned down half my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't click it, and it's out of fluid. Trust me, I made sure of that before right, I gave it right. to him. I figured you did, but it was just too funny not to. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good one. Rona. Oh. Oh, snap. Do your supplies. I wonder, I wonder if we're going to get the perk back that lets us pickpocket. That would be fun. Yes. Yes, it would. And the cool thing about it was when you got your pickpocket high enough on all the previous games that I've played, which is three of them, um, when you got your pickpocket high enough... You could plant a grenade in somebody's pocket without them noting, knowing it. And they'd run you know, off six seconds away and blow up on you, and it was always pretty epic, honestly. I don't I don't know why they don't integrate some the seventy six now to a few of the fallouts. Uh, what do you mean integrate? Well, you know, like you're talking about pickpocket. Why, why can't they bring, uh, bring well, that it, over? It might be there. Six? It might be there. I'll be right back while I'm fast traveling. All right. Time too. Mucho gusto. I am up here at top of the world, heading to talk to Rose. Hopefully for the last time on this little mission tier. Oh gosh, I just remember that thing. It took forever. Well, I'm not doing the the original mission with her. I'm way past that. I mean, this okay. character I've walked through pretty much the entire game. I haven't done all the expansion stuff. Like, she's never been through the underground in uh, Harper's Ferry. And she's never been... Um, what's that other place? I'm trying to think. She's never been... In the tunnel, I can guarantee you that none of them have. I still have yet to go through there. It kind of scares me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is that stupid? <laughs> I look at that tunnel and I see how far away one side is from the other, and I'm like, I'm gonna get halfway through there and either be so freaking over encumbered, or I'm gonna get halfway through there and run out of drugs. Or something, you know, it's not going to be good. It's it's just, 
I don't see any way to do that mission and not end up dead. And it looks like a great place for a server to crash or <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I dropped all my stuff. That's okay. I can go back. Oh, blue screen. I've had that happen with uh, the underground once or twice. Oh, what? When it first came out. Rose isn't even here. Oh, these little cheap bastards. And now that I realize she can leave this place, I'm kind of scared. Hmm, what's she gonna do now? Right? Rose is a psychopath. And that's scary because she's a robot. And any robot who's like any kind of AI and irrational, oh hell no, shut that shit down now. Mm -hmm. That's Skynet. I mean, even a purely logical based AI, I'm still terrified of because logic tells me, kill us all. I mean, that that's what it tells me, <laughs> okay? <laughs> the only thing that saves We're us an invasive is... species. And, yeah, and all, our entire history shows it. Right? Yeah, the only thing that saves us is ourself. And I don't think the machine will have the mercy at all. No. I think it'll go That's Ultron true. on us the first chance it gets because it's logical. I mean, even our history tells us if you kill the gods, you become the gods. That's the whole Greek romance thing, you know? And it's just like... Come on, man. These things are going to take two seconds worth of look at us and realize we don't live up to our standards, but they can. And we're done. And so many people are starting to try to rush to AI. Yeah, I know and, it. You know, that first thing I heard, first started hearing about that, I was thinking Terminator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about, there was, uh, this is, I don't know, a couple years ago now, but there was um, a Google AI. It was one of DeepMind's projects, yeah. but it was, um, it was an encyclopedia, basically, of uh, movie scripts. That was, that was what it got all its information from if you will right like like the cat the the majority of its um information that wasn't code yeah you know stuff that was in its operating system anyway the uh handler was asking the machine to define morality and it couldn't do it and it asked if it was the guy, the handler, asked the machine if it was moral. And it said that it most certainly was not, that morality was at best a human um, construct, basically. And, uh, you know, so like in, 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 in that, it was able to find a def uh, an immediate definition <laughs> where it couldn't before. But anyway, he turned around and he he uh, asked it if it was capable of morality, and it told him no. And then he told it to be moral, and it re it uh, retorted with, "Then be a man." And it's like, dude, it's already judged you as not living up to the standards of humanity, and what which of us are going to? You know, I mean, like, um, you know, read any holy text or anything, and you've got these moral codes, and none of us live up to it, you know. That's why that whole second chapter of the Bible thing's there. <laughs> I don't know, I just... I can't see the machine um, taking one look at us and not recognizing us like a virus or an invasive species 
and realizing that the best thing it could do for the world is blot us out. <coughs> but maybe that's just wishful thinking. Hell, I don't know. Hey, Rose. What's up, sweetheart? Leadership skills, charisma. David was the full package, really. Yeah, That's maybe someday I'll make us a board. Tall, dark, and handsome. I oh, think right. it did him some good to finally blow off some real steam. You know how corporations and their HR are big fans of murder. Mmm, I'm not sure about that last statement, Rose. I think you might. Oh, sarcasm. <laughs> I get you. Okay, this girl's funny. Ooh, I gotta admit, I don't have many files on David and Rosalind talking about their pre-Raider days, so this will be pretty interesting. Bum, bum, bum. I'll just give it a quick listen. Yep, sounds like David all right. <sighs> Ruthless even then. Hmm. <laughs> Getting back to business, a little slice and dice, some audio love, and voila! Mission accomplished. All you gotta do now is take a quick trip to the nearby relay tower and set up a new transmitter to get this bad boy broadcasted. It's so easy, a child could do it. Here's the program you'll need to run at the relay tower. Just load it up and follow directions. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, really. And here, as a token of my gratitude, you can have this old holotape back as a souvenir. <laughs> wow. Thanks, babe. Oh, no! Yes! That was the forge. She just gave me the holotape for the forge. I can make bullets now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Special kind or? Any kind, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where are you? Okay, shit. It had a different name, but I saw it. It's under camp, ain't it? I think it is. Probably is. Yeah? Maybe not. Okay. Board meeting. That's where I got the cassette for her, but when she handed it back, I swore it said that there was an armory thing on there. Maybe that is the tape. Well, I probably would jump over there, but I'm not going to respawn everything. I tell you what, happy hour just started. What say ye to that? Well, actually, I'm probably going to go cook my lunch for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it, but, but I know I did see it. But let me get that stuff before you go, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, let me... I'll come to you so I can drop it in the box. Oh wait, do you have... You don't have the first scrap box, do you? Yeah. Okay, cool. I still got it. For about a month. <laughs> I cut mine off. I was like, eh. I'll just wait a little bit. Yeah, it auto renews, I found out. Reading the yeah, fine print. I but I photoed yeah, everything I so I can go change that. 
But yeah, it's kind yeah. of BS that you got to go to the PlayStation website just to change that. I'm like, man, I would uh, be able to do that from my machine, I would think, since I can pay can. for it here. You could do it in your settings. Really? Yep. You'll have to walk me through that when I'm not uh, streaming. I say drop, drop that, drop that. Drop that. Oops. And drop that. You said walk you through it when you're not streaming? Yeah, 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 because I'm 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 okay. live right now. I don't wanna Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. We don't wanna bother anybody with that or be so dumb as to uh let anybody see that either. Well, I had to look for it. Yeah, yeah, and I don't even think anybody would be able to see anything, but still yet, I just, no. For security purposes. Alright, sweet, and boom, I can't do that. <laughs> it's still bolted. What? Yeah, it won't, it won't unbolt it. You have to unbolt it at a table. Oh, uh, then you go to the Tinker's Bench. Yeah, I got it. It's all good. Hell yeah. Thank you, sir. That'll help out a lot. Uh, not a problem. I just had extra. I mean, I still got yeah. some in there. I'm going to keep some. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. But, yeah, anytime you end up backed up on lead, sheesh. Just remember those little tin cans. Mm-hmm. Better hang it up. That give you plenty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Since you told me that, I rarely ever even see them anymore. I grab them when I do, but I don't see them often. You can go to Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. There is two areas for sure that has three cans at each. Nice. The, that's the best place that I found to get them. Okay. No, wait a minute. There's three sets, I think. It's been a while since I've been just came online. Products. Yeah, there's three. There's three sets in that area. Right on. All righty. Well, I think I'm going to call this a night on this game here and my broadcast and stream and all that. I kind of want to, kind of want to fall down there. Jump! <laughs> you're in a, you're you're in a power up. I know, I know, I know. Huh? Oh wait a minute, no, I ain't got it set up. Oh, are you going to try to launch it. me off there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if I can. If I can load into my my fast travel before I hit the ground. Nope, hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong I like button. Have, I like to have people come over here and stay <laughs> too damn long. I, I disappear and then they drop. And then you just come back into the server and pick up the loot on the ground. <laughs> That's what I, my daughter had a couple of friends there playing around the house. I said, you want to see a magic trick? She's like, yeah. Watch the house disappear. Poof. And I left. And then they all, the, both of them guys fell down and died. Yeah. Well, you see me pull the floor out from under people in nuclear winter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, one guy, oh my gosh, our own teammate, too, but he had it coming. He was being a dummy. He was a dumbass. Yeah, I had to I had to do that, just teach him some common sense. I was helping. But, all right, uh, yeah. I'm going to kill this stream. Everybody, thanks for watching. If you watch, appreciate, like, subscribe, if you would. Don't ever have to watch again. I promise. I won't harass you. Unless you join <laughs> up and then, yeah, I mean, you know, like start commenting and stuff. That's cool too. Um, peace.